I want to play a game. The rules are simple. Cherish Halloween or suffer the consequences. The choice is yours, YouTube. Do you cherish Halloween? Halloween, 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 Halloween. Hey Scott, thanks for including me in this video. So my favorite Halloween memory would have to be going to my cousin's house from about the ages of 9 to 13-ish. Uh, he would have a Halloween party every year. It was a big old party. Uh, everyone on my dad's side would be there. It was a very family-friendly party. And he just had a really cool house and a really cool setup. Uh, he would have like a bin of costumes and pieces of costumes. So if you showed up without a costume, you can make your own. He also had a pool table, an air hockey table, an arcade cabinet that he had put a computer inside of and just downloaded a bunch of uh, totally legally acquired games. That's where I spent most of my time. He would have a pool tournament, an air hockey tournament, and a costume contest. And I just... Remember it being good, wholesome fun. I know this isn't the most Halloween-y kind of memory, but when I think about Halloween, the first thing that comes to mind are those few years that we would go to my cousin's house before he stopped having those parties. Halloween! 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 Klaatu Faratu so, you've came along here today to find out what my favourite Halloween story is. Well, for that, I have to take you back to the Golden Age. I have to take you back to the 1990s, where video games were awesome and movies were still cool. But that's not what this is about. This is about my favourite Halloween story. You see, I worked in a cinema back then, and on Halloween we were allowed to dress as our favourite Halloween characters, and for me, that was Jason Voorhees. Now standing there ripping tickets as you did when you worked in a cinema, well, a, an adult approached me with his small child in hand and he said to me, don't you think that's a bit inappropriate? It's a bit scary with young children running about. And his son tugged on his dad's hand, looked up to him and says, don't be silly dad, Jason's cool. And that, my friends, is my favourite Halloween story. And why? Because I knew at that moment, so long ago, that Halloween was safe in the hands of the next generation. Anyway, Klaatu Veratu Nettai Nette Nintu. Halloween, 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 Halloween. I'd have to say one of my favorite Halloween memories is more so the tradition of going to Blockbuster, picking up horror movies, and then we go pick up pumpkins, take them home, pop in a movie, and carve our pumpkins. Every year we did this until, of course, Blockbuster was closed. And it was so fun. I saw so many cool horror movies because of this, and I think it was the first time I saw Pet Cemetery, Jeepers Creepers, Maybe The Grudge, I think, a lot of those movies. And it was such a fun time. We would put our um, newspaper down. We would have our big bowls to put all of our gunk from our, uh, <laughs> from our pumpkins in. And we would just see like whatever the coolest designs we could make. We were kids, mine was always a vampire pumpkin face, which was like my favorite thing to do. And it was so satisfying to put your candle in and light it and then I'll have them all lined up together and you know turn all the lights off and see how they all looked that was such a fun time we still do this every year horror movies included even though they are streamed now but yeah that is definitely my favorite thing besides the dressing up and the makeup and all the scary good stuff but definitely my favorite memory halloween 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 Hey, thanks for asking me to be a part of your Halloween episode. Um, my favorite memory from Halloween. Mm, 
I want to say it's probably going to be playing through Silent Hill 2 with my brothers. And it was actually one of the few times my dad watched me play a video game. But I remember he got kind of unnerved in one scene. He actually ended up leaving the room and watching football elsewhere. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for asking me. I hope you guys have an awesome Halloween and stay awesome. I remember Halloween! Ladies and gentlemen, gamers. Oh, oh, this is not even my channel. But Sega Blocks, got a little memory for you. Um, I remember back in the day maybe like second grade or whatever. Could have been third grade, but I'm pretty sure it was second grade. My mom was a very sweet lady and <laughs> could be very, very scary at times. But uh, she she loved the Halloween spirit, rest her soul. But this particular day, I remember getting off the, I remember getting off the bus and there was a skeleton that was hanging from our tree. Red glowing eyes. It was like veins like going over the bones and stuff like that. And for some reason, I was I was home by myself during that time. Um, I guess my parents were out working or whatever. You know, sometimes, you know, back in the day, you can't really do it now. But kids used to stay home by themselves. Started walking up to my house and noticed that the uh, the skeleton was there that she purchased. But it was hanging from the tree. And, man, that scared me to death. It wasn't the fact that I knew it was fake. It is that the glowing eyes and... And the way it was swaying, it seemed like everywhere I walk or, or move, the eyes would just follow me. And I remember going in the house and fixing something to eat and peeking through the blinds. And I guess the wind gusts maybe came through or whatever and shifted the skeleton around. <laughs> but that's how I know the skeleton was looking dead in my eyes <laughs> from the window. So that was pretty crazy. And what was even crazier was I remember when my mom got off from work. You know, I done shower up everything. My dad came home. My sister was home from school and stuff like that because I got off a little bit earlier than her. And when my mom got home, I remember asking her, you know, about the skeleton or whatever. And she said, what skeleton? I said, the skeleton I was hanging from the tree. <laughs> so I went outside and tried to show her where the skeleton was. And there was no damn skeleton on the tree. So at that point, man, my mind was out of here. I mean, I was scared shitless. But truth be told, she done took the skeleton down and she wanted to put it back up for Halloween. So she kind of got me on that. But that was just a quick remembrance that I have of my Halloween memory. Hope you enjoyed. Sega Blocks, man. Hold it down. Halloween, 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 Halloween. Hello, everybody. It's your friend Tiger Chainsaw. And I guess my favorite Halloween moment takes me back to fourth grade. I was in Mrs. Rademacher's class, but she didn't really like me. In fact, she said I was disruptive, a headache, didn't really like my creative writing. So that Halloween, I went trick-or-treating in my neighborhood, and I went to my neighbor's, Mr. Bollinger's. I knocked on the door, but nobody answered the front door, but I did see a light on the side. So I made my way over there thinking that maybe that was the candy door. But through the window, I saw Mrs. Rademacher making out with Mr. Bollinger. Now that wouldn't be a big deal, except Mrs. Rademacher was married to Mr. Rademacher, the gym teacher. So once they saw me, I got the rest of the candy bowl. And in fact, I got straight A's the rest of the year. And that, my friends, is the Halloween that I learned the power of blackmail. Happy Halloween. Halloween, 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 Halloween. One of my favorite Halloween moments is probably when I was in about fifth grade um, we had writing projects back then, and during the holidays, it was always like a special holiday project thing, like that you had to write this essay or a story, you know, based upon like what holiday it was. And obviously it was Halloween, and my teacher said, you know, write a Halloween story. Well, I was really annoyed with half of my girl classmates at the time, because, you know, it was during the era where boy bands were a huge thing. And just like four of these specific um, girls in my class we're always gaga over the Backstreet Boys. So I took it upon myself and I figured, you know, 
I'm gonna write a Backstreet Boys story, but I'm gonna put a twist on it. So I wrote this story where all the Backstreet Boys had died in a horrible car accident, and they came back to life as the living dead, and I read it to the class, and everything was good, you know, the teacher said it was good and everything, everybody um, read their story, and then we went to lunch and came back, and after we came back from lunch, the guidance counselor <laughs> comes to the class and says that she needs to speak to me in her office. So she um, walks me down to her office and she's sitting there and she starts giving me the third degree, you know, like, am I happy at home? Uh, you know, you know, the whole spell, like, am I going to hurt myself? Stuff like that. And I'm just thinking to myself, you know, in fifth grade, I'm like, what are you talking about, lady? And <laughs> all of that, because I had wrote a story called The Dead Street Boys. So that's one of my favorite Halloween moments. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I really appreciate everybody being a part of this. Um, thank you to the viewers for watching this. I hope you all have a happy Halloween. Um, you know, stay...